So now she you didn't love you me. are one of 31 people that Charlie Sheen follows on Twitter. Did you know that? I'm honored. <laughs> <laughs> you, what made him follow you? Do you think? I because have no just, idea. Because you're funny, he's a fan. But then you start twittering back and forth with the guy, right? No, I mean I I tweeted a couple Charlie Sheen things in. You know what I would say was the right before the plateau of Charlie Sheenness. Was there a plateau? I haven't seen the plateau yet. Well, there's really good news actually, and this is going to be um, an exclusive. Oh, he he won. Charlie Sheen won. <laughs> Winning, he won. Yeah. Yeah, but you you tweeted back whining, which I thought was very funny. Yeah, I thought it was cute. And then I said like uh, my heart. My thoughts and prayers are with Charlie Sheen, who was recently diagnosed with full-blown Busey. All right, that's funny. So, so, but are you have any interest in becoming one of his goddesses? You know, he has the goddesses. They are blonde, though. Maybe you're not his uh, goddess type. I'm um, probably not his type, and I'm not saying I know he's totally sober, but whether he is or not, I don't like that cokey energy. I don't like it either. Yeah, it's, I'm a stoner. I like slow and chill and let's right. watch TV. Are you on that medicated marijuana, medical I, marijuana? I do have a prescription. You do? Mm hmm You know, everybody has a prescription. Nobody needs it. Do you have glaucoma? Why do you have to have a prescription? I was honest. I just said, <clears throat> when I'm shooting and I need to go to sleep right away, you know, real early for the next day, I would rather smoke a little indica than take a sleeping pill. Really? And when I'm menstruating, it alleviates the pain, and also I like it. Okay. But I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lightweight. I just like a puff or two. Uh -huh. You just make it a treat at the end of the day. You know, it's not a whole thing. It's not my identity. And I also, when I smoke with people, I always remind them, don't forget to stop smoking because you can't go back if you take that one puff too many. Really? Oh, I hate marijuana. Yeah, it's not for you. It just makes me hungry. That's what I need, a drug to make me eat more. What? I know. Um, that is a caveat. And a lot, even cocaine. I remember in the old days, it Makes you hungry? No, not coke. Oh. I never did coke. It's disgusting. Because they, people would get thin for a while, and then they'd blow up into these big fat things on coke. It's, these drugs are not good. But it makes Simple, people you know, so charming. No, it does not. <laughs> no, it makes awful. them sweat. I remember so being gross. at Saturday Night Live when John Belushi was there, being around that, and he stunk to high heaven because he was all drugged up. Ugh. Yes, it's disgusting. It's gross. What do you think Charlie's on, by the way? What was he on? He looks cokey to me, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't do, I only do that one drug. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it, it's that cokey vibe. It's so off-putting to me. And some people don't, aren't even on drugs, and it's, I'm not accusing you, Charlie, of it. It just you have that vibe, that like really fast kind of like thinking uh, that you're really saying profound things. Although he is a sound bite genius. Yes, I know. He's very funny. I mean, every yeah. thing he says is is a perfect sized printable quote. Right. right. He should run for office. Um, now you're in a what new office. Film. The Senate. Why not be in the Senate? That's all about sound bites when you're running for office these days in politics. And what they are, probably have the best coke. Let, let's try. Let's, <laughs> I think they're on upper. Okay, you're in a new film, Take This Waltz, where you are doing a nude scene. Now, everybody's interested in this, the whole crew. A couple of guys, uh, the camera guys, were like, make sure you discuss the full frontal nudity with Sarah Silverman. So I would I will, like but to... I, can I just say that the movie I'm here to promote is Peep World. Yeah, we know. We'll get to it. All right, that. all right. So this movie will come out. This other movie comes out, like, in September or okay, something. Okay, it'll be here before you know it. So tell me about the full oh, frontalness God. of yourself. I'm totally naked. Like, total. Bottom, front, top, front, top, front, bottom, side. Side, also. <laughs> yeah, inside. And, it's, um... I'm t it's... You know, I don't know. It's it's not going to be like, you know, Megan Fox in a movie. It'll be a little bit more like, say, Kathy Bates in About Schmidt or something. <laughs> no, it won't. I like to keep no. people's expectations low. But I also just, I want to be comfortable with my body. I was, I definitely said yes when the director, Sarah Polly, asked me because I felt like I was lucky to be a part of this movie. And uh, I just said, screw it, you know? I mean... It's a body, you know. I look at it and I get grossed out, but then I think if I 
if I imagine that this body in the mirror is somebody else's, yeah. I'd be like, it's beautiful. It's like a real body, you know? So it's like, I'd like to have that. I'd like to feel that way about myself. I'd like to be as comfortable with my body as I would like young women to think that I am. I see. Even if so it's not true. So that's what I'm working towards. But uh, uh, we're talking about, did you get a bikini wax for it? Oi, so that morning, <laughs> I get up extra early to get a really good shave. And then it's like, it's like, oh, I'll get this corner. Oh, I'll just get this corner. Yeah. You know, I'm, let me make it even from the top. That's a mistake. Never do anything from the top. Right. And I gave myself a terrible haircut, and it was awful. And Michelle Williams, who's also naked in the scene, I get there, and she's got this perfect triangular oh. bush. And it's, <laughs> I see? just wanted to kick myself.